Hey there friends, how's it going? My, my name is Kevin, Kevin, and today we're doing an Ask Me Anything over on my subreddit. I'm interested to see what questions you ask me, including, but not limited to, Bor Ragnarok. Okay, so I just posted this uh, a while ago. I said, I'm Call Me Kevin, the 2 million subscriber count YouTuber. I, I just realized I made an error. It doesn't really matter. I'm ridiculous as it is. <laughs> I, I can't even fix it. Okay, I guess that's the way it's staying. Okay, 331 questions after 14 minutes. Great, I can do this. <laughs> I'm well. <laughs> Almost overwhelmed. Can you bring back Baking Bad? I really enjoy doing Baking Bad. I'd love to do one again. I love doing different things in general. But I think the problem with it is, is I've moved since I last did it and it's just not a good setup for it anymore. And also they take a lot of time and generally there's a small group of people who love them. But in general, they don't do that well. So it's a lot of time invested and sacrificing other content to make those when uh, they traditionally don't do so good. What does your family think of your crazy personality? How do you act around them? I don't think I have that crazy of a personality. I think a lot more of my humor shows online than in person. Like, I think if people are similar minded, like if you meet me at a gaming convention, you'll find I am basically the same person in real life. But uh, around family, like a lot of my humor, especially that it's like internet culture and stuff like that, a lot of people don't get it. So I tend to um, try and judge my audience a bit. <laughs> but my family see my videos, they know that I'm a bit weird. <laughs> Luckily I did that DNA video and I have proof that I'm not adopted. Just too many things link, you know? Hi Kevin, thanks for doing this AMA. Your daily uploads always make my day better. Well, that's awesome. Uh, what game that you've only played once on the channel would you like to play again? That's a good question, um, but it's kind of a weird one to answer because I don't think there are any. <laughs> Usually games that I want to play um, more than once, I do. I do two videos on it and um, I see how it goes from there. So for example the Pirates of the Caribbean I would have loved to do more than that but um, it just didn't land. The first one did really really well. I was surprised by how well it did and I was like this is awesome I get to do another. And the second one did really bad. <laughs> it didn't go well at all. Who hurt you? A car. <laughs> that is a great reply. I'm just gonna upvote and say no more on that one. <laughs> What's your favorite meme to come out of the channel? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Definitely not Bor Ragnarok. Definitely not. I think a lot of the ones posted to the subreddit are really funny. Uh, there's a lot of funny image ones on there. Uh, some of the ones where I was with the Spider-Man suit. Uh, I like the Is Mole Available to Talk. It was from a Sims 2 video where I was um, trying to do a Let's Play basically on the Sims 2 and people kept calling but I had mole people in in the walls and they were just called mole 1, mole 2, mole 3 and they kept calling and just being like is mole 2 available to talk and it was it was kind of crushing that they'd rather talk to the mole people in the wall but I just I found that really funny. How long did it take to recover from being run over? <laughs> Circling back to the car again much like he circled around to me. Uh, the truth is I'm still recovering I have a lot of problems with my shoulder um, day to day my knee and my shoulder right now are giving me a lot of trouble. Uh, the truth is it could have been a lot worse, so it's not the end of the world, but um, it is quite taxing and I've debated getting surgery. I've had different advice on uh, especially the shoulder because it's quite painful, um, but I've had different advice. Some doctors are like, yeah, go do it. You know, it, it'll take you like six months to recover. You'll probably still be able to work away at your computer and then it'll be it'll be all good it has like an 80 percent success rate and then other people have said no avoid surgery at all costs when you're this young because it can cause joint problems and it's just kind of a weird situation to be in i'm continuing to try and exercise it and get it better that way uh, but that's my main issue i have a few other issues but um this is my main one and it's been about three years uh it's been a bit over three years since then so it's been a, a long ride. Hey Kevin, do you think the Bor Ragnarok meme has gotten old? Bor Ragnarok, reply. <laughs> Love your videos, Kev. Thanks for everything you do. My question, how do you take your coffee? Reluctantly. I don't like coffee at all. I sometimes need the energy though. Hey Kevin, my friend has the biggest crush on you. Is there something wrong with her? Definitely. Hi Kevin, if you're willing to answer, what does a typical day look like for you? Well, I live in Ireland, so mostly grey. But what I do in the day is another question. Usually I start the day by obviously having breakfast and then I go right to my computer and I'll take care of the night's video so that'll be the one you see on that day I'll basically do a run through of the edit and uh, that has already been tended to by one of my editors and I'll do the final edit and uh, get that rendered uploaded then I'll make the thumbnail put in all the info it takes a lot longer than you'd expect to do that 
um, especially the thumbnails. Uh, you would think it doesn't take me very long to make them, but it kind of does. <laughs> then I can usually record, and after I'm done recording, I usually get dinner or whatever I need to do. After that, it's usually tending to my emails or paperwork or whatever it is, generally just admin stuff. Um, and that takes up a good bit of time as well. It kind of depends what's coming in. And uh, obviously, if I have any sponsored deals or anything on top of that, I have to do that outside of the mandatory work we'll say that I have to do. Basically, I gotta get a video up and I gotta get a recording done. And then after that, I gotta work around it <laughs> to get all the extras done. Uh, it's very time consuming. It's not the hardest work, obviously. I've worked a harder job, um, but time-wise, it takes a lot of time. Are you ever slightly bothered by doing evil always mess up game runs like in Detroit Become Human? It's hilarious, but does not playing it a certain way bother you? Honestly, no, I think it's really fun to play that way. The thing is, when I played, like, say, Red Dead Redemption on my own, and there's an honor system in that, I'm always, like, an okay guy. Like, maybe I won't be the nicest, but I'm not that evil. But for some reason, when I'm doing videos, it's just so fun to be evil. Like, it's it's like my inner self comes out. <laughs> um, but it's definitely put a new spin on things for me, and um, I, I really, really enjoy it, which... It's probably not good, that's probably saying something about my personality. <laughs> it's like the great Batman quote, you either die a real swell fella, or you live real bad. Do you lift? Do you have an exercise routine? What keeps you motivated? Hope that's not too many questions. Thanks for your time and all the great laughs, Kevin. We love your beautiful Irish face. Well, for complimenting me like that, of course you get an answer. And yeah, I have an exercise routine. I try and exercise pretty regularly. I think it's important when I'm sitting at a desk all day that I actually try and get the blood flowing. Plus, like, mentally, it's just so good for you. I had to take up exercising, like I mentioned before, with the, the injuries I had, I had to take up a bit of regular exercise to try and get them back in action. I usually, on average, uh, go to the gym or do a little bit of weightlifting here at my house uh, about three times a week. And I'm usually pretty damn consistent with that. There has been, like, odd times where it's lapsed over the past three years or so, but um, for the most part, I've been pretty consistent with that. I'm definitely not like a hardcore lifter or anything, but I'm just trying to do regular exercise and keep active, basically. Are there any older videos you changed now you have more experience? So many. <laughs> I look back on old videos and I'm just like, why? Why were you doing it this way? <laughs> I think my editing's gotten a lot better, uh, my sense of timing and stuff like that, both in editing and just like comedy, I guess. But just production value's gotten so much better. Uh, like I remember specifically being at my uh, old house and I, I was just thinking like, why can I not get like even images like this because my lighting was all bad, my camera was terrible, even though it was an expensive camera I, I basically just tried to save up money and I bought a good camera thinking it would just solve everything but obviously that's not the case. But a video that always brings to mind is the Ouya video because I got quite a lot of traction from that video when that kind of went semi-viral. Um, at the time my channel was really small, about 10,000 subscribers and uh, I think it got to like half a million views after about two weeks of it being up which was huge for me. But um, I would change so much of it, but I wouldn't go back and do it now because obviously something appealed to people out there. But if I were posting that video now, it would be such a different video. <laughs> I think a better video. I would I would hope. I hope I haven't gotten worse at what I do. <laughs> Me and the wife actually watch your videos for our dinner TV in the evening. Love your videos. So what's your most embarrassing video in your opinion? I swear I won't look it up, Scout's Honor. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, I'm in control of whatever goes up here, so... I mean, if I'm okay with putting it up, then I guess that it's not that embarrassing to me. Even though I do a lot of embarrassing things, but even like if my family brought up a video that I'm in and I'm there, I don't really mind. Like, it is what I do at the end of the day. I don't really, I, I don't want to hide it or anything. There probably would have been a time in the past when I would have been embarrassed about stuff, but not so much anymore. I guess objectively, the most embarrassing thing recently is probably the Spider-Man thing <laughs> when I was in the morph suit, but I don't mind anyone I know watching that. I thought it was funny, it's goofy, and uh, yeah, but it is weird. It is feckin' weird. <laughs> Ooh, quick fire time. Why have you stopped streaming regularly? A shortage of time. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. What smartphone do you have? The Huawei P10. Would you like to live on an island? I do live on an island. That's Ireland. Kevin, on a scale of 1 to say 100, just how cool do you think your fans are in a general sense? Very cool out of 100. No, but honestly, I feel like I've hit like the jackpot of communities. Um, I always worried that when the channel started growing that it would get a bit toxic, and it never really did. I get the odd person who's just mean or nasty or whatever, but that's bound to happen. But in general, 
It's just been hugely supportive and it's amazing, honestly. <laughs> Will you do more sketch related things on your channel? I love the day in my life of my sim video and all those little intros you do at the start of some other videos. I love doing little skits, they're so fun to do. It's really fun to do just something different and I'm always trying to learn what works and what doesn't and trying to improve my production quality and get new ideas. Um, most of them, uh, like the skits and all that, I just get a vague idea and then I just stand in front of the camera and say whatever I think <laughs> and it tends to work out. Uh, the one where I did the, the basement video with a day in the life of my sim was the most scripted thing I think I've ever done because I actually wrote down a vague idea of what I wanted and then acted it out for the sole reason of I had to move my camera a lot and um, I wanted to make sure I got everything I needed in each spot and not be moving back and moving forward and all this. Most of it is just improv with a vague idea of what I want in my head. <laughs> but I do want to do more and I want to do more creative stuff and just try and branch out a little bit. I, I want my main content to stay the same but mix in a few odd things like that because I think it's fun and generally you guys seem to like them which is just, it's great. I love when something is fun and you guys also enjoy them and they do well. Um, they don't really do any improvement when it comes to monetary gain, but that's not really what I focus on and I can actually say that honestly. <laughs> Hi Kevin, what is the most unsettling question that someone has asked you and what would you answer to it? This one? Back off, creep. How does it feel to have a call, I mean a YouTube channel with 2 million subscribers? What's your favorite part about it? I love having a cult. <laughs> you sort of weirdly get used to it. Uh, yeah, I don't really think about it too much. Sometimes I'll think like, oh my god, that video has been watched by 200,000 people or something. And that kind of blows my mind. But I try not to focus on it too much because I don't think you can really visualize that amount of people watching your stuff. I think my favorite part is just trying my best to make really good content and then seeing a really good positive reaction. Like, I think I get positive reactions to nearly everything because you guys support me so much. But um, seeing like an exceedingly positive reaction to something I work really hard on, like the Country Roads one comes to mind again. I wasn't expecting it to go down that well and people just freaked out and they loved it and it was so it was so rewarding to do and that happens on the regular with maybe one video a week where it goes particularly well and it just makes me really happy do you ever get recognized in public and if you do do those lucky cultists get to be sacrificed to gym well you have to sign a form to get sacrificed and no one's done it yet and um, yeah i do get uh, recognized almost saying i do get sacrificed fairly often i do get recognized fairly often if you average it out probably once a week but the the thing about it is is i Live, um, kinda in the middle of nowhere and uh, on top of that Ireland isn't actually so high on the list of people who watch me it's actually a really low percentage the majority is in the US then the UK and then I think it's like Canada um, but Ireland's fairly far down the list I Ireland doesn't get YouTube doesn't push to like your home country like it used to before and uh, honestly that kind of suits me because I love meeting people um, out in the wild and it's always a fun experience, it's really flattering, but at the same time, I kind of like my privacy too. <laughs> so it's great, I get the joy of meeting new people all the time, but um, generally it's like when I go to events and stuff like that. But uh, it's always been a fun experience, I've never met someone in, in public and uh, had a bad experience with it. Why is PS1 Haggard a snack? He is not. He's a full meal and I love him. <laughs> what is your opinion on water? It's too wet. Why all the soup hate? I mean, yeah, it's not good, but come on, cut the poor liquid some slack. It's the wettest of foods and I hate it. This AMA took a weird turn. <laughs> hey there friend, my name is Gabriel. I was curious about this. Uh, did you hear back from Nikki from AppNana? It was the biggest cliffhanger ever on a YouTube video. I did. Someone tried messaging them using their support form, pretended to be me and inputted my email as the like email to respond to. And they said that I would sue them if they didn't pay me. <laughs> then I got a reply saying, very sorry about this. We'll get back to you. Don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they never got back to me. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> Hello Kevin, would you be interested in doing any more covers? Also, I'm a huge fan of your videos. Well, thank you for that. I do want to do more covers. I've been learning a song and uh, I think I'm going to upload that as a cover. No real joke involved, just a music cover and I'll see how it does. Uh, I think it'll be fun. I hope. I hope it'll go okay. Don't make fun of me, please. I've noticed as of recent you only collaborate with other Irish folks. Is this like a brand thing or just a coincidence? I think that's because a lot of Irish people just tend to like go, oh you're also Irish, I'll follow you, that's cool. It's not like a, a thing I planned or anything like that and it's not something I intended. I'm open to collaborating with anyone but I just don't do a lot of collabs. Uh, it's not really the style of content I do. I like to do a lot of stuff alone. And on top of that, I think I need to kind of know the person a bit beforehand and uh, 
actually know that it will go well rather than just going, oh, that guy's popular, let me do a collab with him. I think it has to actually suit, you know? Will you ever release the video of you getting hit by a car? Uh, probably not, no. <laughs> I've seen it, um, I don't actually have it. I could probably request it and, and own it like it is me in the video, but I don't think people need to see that. I'm not a huge fan of watching that sort of thing where you see someone get hurt. I mean, it was easy when I watched it because I know I'm fine in the end, but um, no, I think that's that's potentially traumatic and a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, all my content is potentially traumatic, but that especially. I'm just gonna blast through a few more of these and we'll end it. I don't think I'm gonna respond anymore in text. I did quite a lot of them in text. Everyone so far I answered in text. Have you actually run out of Harry Potter games to play yet? Or are there a few more on the dark web somewhere? There's still plenty more. I've wanted to play one on the Game Boy that I played as a kid and I gotta play the last one in the console series as well. I've just been putting it off. I wanna play it on the Wii, I think. I think it would be funny. Also on a scale of PS1 Hagrid to PS1 Ron, what graphic settings would you say you're on right now? I don't know, you tell me. You bring a ton of positivity and happiness to my daily routine. How do you maintain that enthusiasm and what do you do for self-care when you're feeling drained? But I try my best to keep up my enthusiasm. I don't think it's very hard. I'm naturally a happy person um, and when I get going I tend to be quite energetic. So it comes really naturally to me. I'm glad it comes across that way though. And what do you do for self-care when you're feeling drained? I like to do DIY stuff and I like to uh, exercise. I think those things really clear my head and make me feel a bit better. Hey Kev, when are you gonna start your Wii Fitness channel? Any day now, I'm just waiting for the right sponsors, you know? <laughs> and I'm trying to get in touch with the Wii Fitness lady, but she never responds to my emails. I recently realized that you and Kev Jumba are the only Kevins I've followed on YouTube and you've both been hit by cars. What are your feelings on this blatant discrimination toward YouTuber Kevins? That's because of this stupid subreddit, not my one, <laughs> follow my subreddit, a story is about Kevin. It's starting hate about Kevins. There's people out there just trying to knock us down. I didn't actually know that though. I'm sorry to hear there's another Kevin out there <laughs> that went through the same thing. Why on Jim's green earth did you dab in the latest video? To impress you, obviously. <sighs> That actually hurt. <laughs> the shoulder's acting up a lot. <laughs> hey Kevin, have you ever thought of doing something like an actual stories with some of your more recognizable characters? Something like an animated episode or something with an actual script and stuff, like an extended skit like your recent video? I think I would, but I think if I were doing that, I think it would be animated. I think that would be really fun to work on. Um, I've got like a little animation in the works, which I need to check up on. I don't like bothering like freelancers when they're working on stuff, um, but that should be fun. Uh, it's not really what you're describing, I don't want to spoil it, so we'll leave it at that. But uh, I'd love to do like a proper animated, like written thing. And it's something I think I could do. I think it. I struggle to write comedy, but um, I think if I was just improving, I could take a lot from improv and put it in a script or something. And I think it could be fun. 440 more replies. I don't think I'm able to do this. <laughs> I refresh, there's 839 comments. When looking at comments and videos, I often see a lot of thirsty comments. Do they ever bother you? No, dude, that's like a human need. You need a drink. People are thirsty, have a drink. As long as it's not soup. Soup is disgusting. Favorite pizza topping, another pizza! <laughs> How do you find those mods for The Sims 4? Like, I didn't know there was a drug mode until you did a video. A lot of them get suggested to me. I find other ones um, through finding the initial ones. You'll find you get a creator who makes mods and they'll branch off and do other mods and that's how I find a lot of them. Hi Kevin, you joke about it sometimes, but what does your family think about your career? I know a lot of older adults still don't think of YouTube success as real success. My parents are very supportive of what I do, as well as uh, my sibling and everything. Super, super supportive. As well as my close friends. There, I, I joke about it a lot, but everyone's super supportive. Um, Generally, I kind of prefer that people don't think of it as, as like, real success. Like, I remember meeting someone in a store once and my mom was like, this was years ago, when I used to do it uh, on my old channel, and my mom said to them, oh, Kevin makes YouTube videos, and then the woman turned around and she's like, isn't that nice? So like, kind of really condescending, but I kind of prefer it that way. I'd rather they just think I'm doing something stupid and just wasting my life away. <laughs> It's way better off. <laughs> How and where did you first come across RT Game? Have you had many opportunities to meet him in person? I think people were talking about his videos in the comments and I, I checked it up after that and I think I followed him on Twitter and then he DM'd me and we chatted a bit and we ended up playing on a, one of his streams shortly after that. And I've met him in person uh, three times, I think. He's a very nice guy. I know we pretend to fight all the time, but he's a cool guy and he's he's okay with doing that, which is great because some people just take themselves too seriously. And thankfully, neither of us are like that. Do you think you'll always make gaming videos or do you have plans of doing something different in the future? No, I want to stick to gaming. I like mixing in the kind of ones where I was like reacting to Sims memes or like doing the little covers of songs or skits. 
But uh, I think gaming will always be the core of what I do because I wouldn't be able to post regularly if it wasn't for that. And I, I think it makes a good kind of... It, it, almost every video I do is sort of like a reaction video, but I'm reacting to what's happening in the game, if you, if you get where I'm coming from. And it's a good kind of uh, consistent thing I'm able to do, which I really enjoy. I don't think I transition into other content so well because I like posting often. I think a lot of the rest are either being washed away or repeats of what have been asked before. There's so many questions, I wish I could answer them all, but there's so, so many, I just can't get to them. But I thank you to everyone who actually asked me a question, really appreciate it. If you have any questions, follow the subreddit, I'll probably do another one of these in future and maybe try and figure out a way I can be more efficient with the way I do it, maybe on a live stream or something? That, that might be a good way of doing it. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it, as always, folks. And I guess I will see you next time. Bye for now.